The 2015 Army West Point football black and gold game is in the books. It was the black defeating the gold by the final score of 40 to 17. Rich DeMarco joined by Army defensive back Josh Jenkins on the losing side, but I thought the gold defense did some nice things against that first team offense in the first half. Uh, offense had a great day. We had six turnovers, I believe, so uh, we played pretty well and everybody has to be better. That's pretty much how it goes. Doing what you do best, that interception in the end zone, got in front of the route, take me through that play. Uh, I just saw it. They tried it, tried it on me in the spring earlier, and uh, I just thought I'd make a play on the ball, and I uh, decided to do a little something with it after. And uh, it's just fun going against the offense, being able to compete against them. This, that final spring practice, you would say, this spring game, your evaluation of the improvement of this squad over the past month? Oh, the learning curve was uh, we just jumped right through it this year. And knowing what to do and knowing where to be, it made practice a little bit more crisp. And uh, we were just able to do things that uh, last year we, were, we lacked. And uh, it was great being able to be a leader on this team with everybody else. And I don't have to be the main leader on this team. Everybody else has uh, great roles on this team. It's awesome. Now joined by Army fullback Aaron Kemper. Aaron, touchdown run. How was this black and gold game? Um, it was a very competitive um, experience, and it was nice to just be out here uh, with your teammates and to come in at the spring and uh, just really have fun. A 40-17 to 17 victory. How did it feel good to be on the winning side? I mean, it's always good to win, but we still had a lot of turnovers. Um, I mean, we still have stuff that we need to improve on, so it's all fine. And now joined by the head coach of the Army West Point football team, and that's Jeff Munkin, and 40-17 to 17 the final score, but there were positives really on both sides of the ball. We had some guys make some really good individual plays, and and uh, and that, that that was good to see. We had uh, a lot of uh, a lot of places where we saw some guys that need to improve and get better. And and uh, you you want good things to happen on both sides of the ball. You want to be some good plays for the offense and defense. And I think we got that today. And you mentioned you got that. Where you would want to see or think you could see this team after a month? Were you pleased with that? We're we're improved. We're we're better than we were when we started the spring, but certainly not where we need to be or want to be or, or where we will be uh, going into the first ball game. So we, we've got some practices in the preseason camp. We'll need every one of them, and, uh, and, and hopefully our team will be prepared and ready to go. Black team scored 40 points. The gold team forced a number of turnovers, but I'd say probably the player of the game had to be Sean Callahan. Began and ended the game with 70-plus yard touchdown runs and added in a two-point conversion. Oh, we were so excited to, to, to have him out here with us today, and he's been sick. He's been sick in the last couple of weeks, and what a tough kid. What a, what a great uh, model for, for everybody, just the, the mental toughness and, and uh, the grit and determination to, to not let anything get you down. So we're, we're so, so pleased to have him out here with us. He's a great kid. How much does he inspire each and every one of the members of this team? I think he inspires everybody that knows him. Everybody that comes in contact with him and, and, and kids like him are inspired. So uh, our guys have really embraced him as a member of the team and, and really feel a, a bond with him. And, and I, I hope he feels the same about our guys. 2015 spring football in the books. What's up next for this program? Our coaches will be out recruiting this spring. Uh, our players will get back into a uh, to off-season lifting program. And, uh, and then they'll go out in, in the summer after their final exams are done, done and do their, uh, their, their military training that they do as part of their, their uh, curriculum here at West Point. After that's done, we'll get them back here on campus, uh, summer school, uh, the, the, uh, the workouts with Coach Karen and his staff in the Strength and Conditioning Center, and, uh, and get them ready for preseason camp. So it's right around the corner. Jeff, thanks for a couple of minutes as always, and we look forward to the summer camp coming up just a couple of months. Thanks a lot. Beat Navy. Sounds good to me. That's Army head coach Jeff Munkin. The Army West Point football spring game 2015. It was the black defeating the gold 40 to 17. We also heard from Aaron Kemper and Josh Jenkins to wrap up Army West Point football spring practice 2015 for Night Vision. I'm Rich DeMarco.